Hey everyone, it's Megan with Alder and Nance, and today we are getting caught up on our big four pattern company pattern releases. And for today, we are starting off with the 2022 Summer McCall's pattern release. So let's go ahead and roll my intro and I'll get us set up in the new lookbook. Okay, so on the front page of the lookbook, we have this really cute little crop top that has a waist tie also, along with these large bishop style sleeves. And let's keep going. And then we have M8311, which is this one sleeved, one shoulder little number with a little bit of a midriff cut out, along with this really cute little ring that you'll need to get in order to go along with it. And then we have M8321, which is also another really cute little dress that has a open back with a tie. We have the plus size version for M8331, and all of the plus sizes are going up to 38W, in which we'll get into some of the sizing information here in just a minute. And it's the same version with the little bit of a mid-drift and one shoulder look here. And then we have this little onesie, which is M8314. We have M8312 for this little cute gingham style dress that is a very loose fitted with some very large sleeves and it looks like it's going to be a dolman style sleeve on this one. And then we have M8320, which is another maybe dolman, I can't tell. We'll see once we get a little bit closer into it with some gathering along the skirt portion of this dress. We have M8322, which is this maxi style dress, and it's got a cute little waistline on this one. And I'm pretty sure on M8326, it's just going to be the skirt, which is actually really cute. It's a tiered skirt. And from the front cover, we have M8324, which is open back, which is really cute. I have tattoos on my back, and that would be kind of neat to kind of show them off. We have M8323 for this open midriff top on both of these. And you have an option for like a little cardigan, Borello, Borello or however you want to pronounce that to go along with it. We have M8325 for this cute little top with some flutter sleeves. We have M8327 for this really cute skirt. And then we have a couple of bathing suit patterns. One is a M8330, which is this cute little one piece, one shoulder style bathing suit. And then we have M8329, which is this bikini with a high waisted bottom. Here we have M8330 again, along with the M8328, which also is going to be similar to M8327, all except for this one is the plus size version. M8316 is this girl's little skirt. We have another little jumper, which is M8313, and a little baby's romper for 8315. M8317 is another little romper, and I love this lace insertion down here in the legs. And it looks like it's secret pants. Then we have some aprons for M8308. And it looks like we got a couple different links on that one. We have a bag pattern for M8307. And we have M8321 for this really cute dress with a higher neckline and some ruching. Their accessories, and then we have the plus size version again of M8331 for this lookbook. So let's go ahead and jump on over into all of the actual patterns. So we have the plus size and the straight size for these two patterns. So I'm going to go ahead and take a look at the size charts. And for sizes, four goes from a bust 29 and a half up to a 48. 
And then underneath here, we have a 38 up to a 54 inch. So we have pretty good size range of these patterns. So let's take a look at this. We have the one shoulder look, which is really cute. And then we have just the little wrap style on the top without the shoulder at all. Let's see how that... Okay, that's actually really cute. So the front and the back of this version is exactly the same. Has a little bit of details here and then has the ruching around the waistline. That's really cute. I do like this pattern. For M8322, we have this dress, which comes in a couple different lengths and a couple different bodice styles. We have the sweetheart neckline with a little bit of a plunge, and then we have the higher neckline. And we have two different skirt lengths for it. So, okay, I see a little bit of a difference on this one. This is a halter style, and this is spaghetti strap style. For M8312 is a pullover style dress. And we do have a couple of different options for the sleeves. And I love the bishop style sleeve. So I like the flutter and I also like the bishop. And it is a dolman style. And we have two different lengths. And then we also have this length with a little, I forgot what that's called. Brain fart, sorry. That happens sometimes. <laughs> I'll think of it in a minute. On 8320 is a Mrs. Tunic in dress. So we've got a couple different length options for this one. And it does look like, yes, it's going to have a regular sleeve armhole, arm's eye. And we have some pin tucking that we get to learn with this one. For M8321 is this Mrs. Dress with the open back and tie. We have a higher neckline, bishop sleeve. We have spaghetti strap. And I love this little tie back on this. And both styles do have that. We have sleeveless or with sleeves and also the little strappy number. Romper and jumpsuits. So let's take a look at this one. So we have the shorter version and longer version with two different leg styles. Oh, three different leg styles. We have the short romper. We have a longer with a peg leg style. And then we have the large open leg on here. And then we have another version of that, but with a lace insertion. That's really cute. I like all versions of this. This might actually be a pattern I pick up. Then we have this little romper jumpsuit and sash. I like the little short romper. And, ooh, I love this. It reminds me of the caftans, but with the pant version. I've never seen that done before. Makes sense. Huh. Okay, that's another cute little pattern. We have this crop top number here. Couple different sleeve options on it. We've got the shorter sleeve, long sleeve, and we have this really intricate back tie number on there, or we have the completely open back. So that's all really, really cute. Then we have this one, which is this little open. Oh, it doesn't have to be open. So it's got a couple different options on it. So we have this number, three different options for the shirt, and then we also have the little camisole that goes on top. 
I like the halter and I like this little one shoulder number. I would not wear this midriff one, but that's just personally me. Then we have some smocking with this one or pentucking. So we can do smocking or pentucking with this one. So level three, learn to sew pattern. Make pentux elastic with bias tape casing. So we can learn some smocking or pentucking along with inserting elastic into a casing here. So that's a couple different options for M8325. Then we have the Mrs. Skirts, and it looks like it's going to come in a couple different lengths. And it looks like they're all elastic waisted. So we have the Maxi, Midi, and I don't know what you consider that one. Maybe both of these are Maxi, and this would be considered Midi. Or M8326. We have the knit skirt for going over bathing suits here. And looks like we've got a couple different ones. We've got the tighter, shorter skirt, another short, tighter skirt, and then we have a little bit more flowing with this one. So three different options. And we also have that in the plus sizes. Then we have this one piece bathing suit here for M8330. And this is the plus size version for 20 through 38W. And we do have a bikini with a high waist on this one. And we also have this really cute little detail here. So it's not just the one piece. You're also getting two different tops along with a higher waisted bottom. So is that what we're going to have with this one also? Yes, it looks like it is. So it is the same bathing suit. It's just they decided to go with two different models and to have two different photos of the actual garment. They didn't want to do the same photo or the same pattern for both of the models in two different sizes. They wanted to showcase the bikini versus the one piece. Then it looks like we have a vintage dress here, it looks like. Yeah, it's a 1980s and looks like the big four is really going for the gunny sacks look because this definitely could be used to make a gunny sacks dress. So that's really cute, I like the top of this one. So it is a top and skirt, and it looks like this one might also come with like a petticoat underneath it. Yeah, that's what it looks like to me. Yes, they layered it. So B and then C. So they layered everything. Kind of give you a couple different options of that one. Then we have this little jumper dress. So it looks like they're trying to bring back some 80s looks. Not my favorite decade, but then again, I was born in the late 80s. Now, I do like the skirt of this one along with the yoke. So let's see. And it's just the skirts for this. Couple cute little things. So vintage 80s, and I never thought I would hear the word that 80s was vintage. And the aprons. A couple different options for the different style of aprons. We have the elastic back on all of these, and or some elastic in the front. So a couple different options for you there. And then we have, we had the girls version of this romper and jumpsuit. Oh, that is awesome. So I could pick up both of these patterns for me and Ryan, and I would be able to make me and Ryan the exact same outfit, in which she would love that. 
And I think she would love this pattern also. And that's M8317. And then we have the girl's skirt. Comes with shorts underneath. We have this little flowy style skirt that is really cute. So, got a shorts pattern that can go underneath. Got a little high low action going on there. That's really cute. Then we have this little baby number for M8315. And we've got a couple different options for this little romper for babies. Then we have some little doll patterns for 18 inch dolls for M8309, which is cute. I'm not big into making doll clothes. I know my oldest wanted me to make her dress in Barbie size, but I just don't think I had the patience to try and sew for Barbie. So for M8307, it's this bag and tote bag pattern, which is really cute. I know I am needing a new purse so I am on the lookout for a really good purse pattern. And then we have some pillow patterns. Making a couple different style pattern, style pillows. And we got a couple different ones on this. So they're cute. And that is going to be it for the McCall's patterns. Uh, I would have to say that M8317 and... Where is it? M8313 would be my favorite pattern simply because it is a mommy and me pattern. All right, guys, y'all have a wonderful week and I will see you in a couple of days. Bye.